What is up guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am Diego and for those of you who are new around here, I am an incoming medical student in London. I am back with another video, it's been not too long, it's only been about three weeks since my last video um, and yeah, I'm just happy to be back. So today's video, as the thumbnail and the video title suggests, it's not clickbait. Yes, I quit my consulting job in the city of London. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to go in and sort of share the update, the thoughts behind it, the decision as to why I did it. But yeah, I quit. Officially, I am an unemployed man for the time being, not for too long. Anyway, let's get straight into this video and yeah. Alright guys, so as I was saying, I quit my job as a consultant, uh, well, as a manager in the consultancy field. I worked in consultancy, specifically R&D tax consultancy, for nearly five years. So after I finished my undergraduate degree and I went on to do my master's degree, I basically spent nearly four years and a half in industry and I worked my way up from a consultant all the way to management level. In consulting so it's fair to say that I definitely had spent quite a number of years learning the trade um, and just really developing that business skills consultancy skills which although it wasn't my plan initially and although it took me longer than I wanted to to get into medical school it was still a really uh, valuable experience for me and I took so many life skills and knowledge from it so it was definitely a good period of my life um, so the reason, why did I quit? Well, the reality is I'm starting medical school. So after a number of years of applying to medical school, I think it's probably been three years and a half. Um, it's probably been four years actually, because obviously you have to work towards the admissions test months prior. Uh, but on my third cycle, I was finally able to secure a medical school place in London and I just couldn't turn it down. And it just meant that obviously because I'm starting medical school soon, I had to give notice to my employer and essentially quit. Um, how did I feel that day? Well, it was it was quite surreal. I was actually quite nervous about it. Um, I knew that I had to do it because obviously I wasn't going to turn down the opportunity to go to medical school. And even though I knew medical school was everything I wanted, or I want, you know, to do it still was quite challenging and quite tough to say goodbye to an industry that I'd worked for, for for so many years and also to the security that comes with full-time employment and also for those of you who, who know about consulting especially in management level you know you can get very comfortable in many areas and it can become quite difficult to think about the reality of now going back to student mode for four more years, you know, so <laughs> it was a lot of thinking to, to sort of be done, but it was done. I spoke to my employer and they were, you know, they were understandable. And obviously on my end also having to be understandable, uh, understanding about their position as well, because it's not ideal for them either. You know, companies invest in you as a, as a member of their team and they obviously have plans for you and you're an asset to the company as well so it's you know it's not ideal but it sort of had to be done and sort of moving forward you know obviously basically i start medical school in about 13 days and by the time you watch this video it'll probably be short it'll probably be maybe six seven days um just depends how long it takes me to edit this video um but yeah, so it's fast approaching and it's just feeling a bit um, surreal. Obviously, well, I gave myself about a month um, from quitting to actually starting medical school, uh, but it seems very short and I kind of wish I'd done it a bit earlier. But yeah, in terms of why I actually um, decided to, to leave consulting for medicine, I think I'll go into it deeper in a, another video, in a separate video, um, but ultimately there were just so many factors that 
led me to this point and it just wasn't you know a sort of thing that just happened one day from another it took so many years of you know, working towards this goal and just many things you know that that I think make medicine a better fit for me and also the way I envision my medical career panning out in the future uh, God willing it just makes much more sense uh, in comparison to staying in consulting um, however um, in a very interesting manner you know because I've spent so many years in consulting and I've amassed so much experience working with so many firms um, small large and so many industries the opportunity has also arisen for me to do this same type of consulting on a more independent basis and so I'm looking forward to being able to do that throughout medical school and continue to sort of build that sort of portfolio that I had when I was also an employee um, so yeah I'm looking forward to that it's an interesting challenge it's enjoyable I enjoy consulting a lot and I enjoy the line of work that I was in um, it's really interesting there's a lot of scope for learning a lot of scope for working with interesting clients but yeah maybe I'll share that at a later point don't want to bore you with the detail but yeah I quit my job I'm officially a back to student status and obviously that entails a lot of adjustments I guess but it feels good I'm not gonna lie it feels good to have a bit more flexibility in my life I'm telling you that consulting lifestyle for nearly five years you know it was it was rough it could be rough at times you know a lot of deadlines a lot of clients work to work on um, and yeah it was just never ended really it felt never ended at times so it feels good you know I've sort of been enjoying this period of now being back at a student level uh, but yeah hopefully you enjoyed this video this was just a short video an update and as I said I'll make another video actually a separate video on the particular reasons as to why I decided to leave consulting and sort of address some of the reasons behind my decision anyway if you like this video don't forget to like comment and subscribe if you want to follow me on Instagram you can follow me on my socials somewhere here here and yeah follow me drop me a comment if you want to ask me anything about anything really related to the content I produce um, yeah send me a DM always happy to talk till next time guys as always take care God bless bye bye